Hi guys, so Hubs just stepped out to <coughs> go do some stuff with the car. I think he has to like get the tire checked on the back of it. But anyways, I have about 10 minutes that I could spare to do a quick little video with you guys um, before I gotta take off because I have a nice you know, commute to work now, um, which actually it hasn't been that bad. It's been kind of a little unpredictable at times. Like you never know when there's going to be a big accident or traffic or delays. So it's always best to plan ahead. And I've always been that, that person that plans ahead. Like <laughs> I set my alarms. I, I'm always checking GPS. Um, and I just plan ahead. So I know what my trip is more so going to look like. So anyways, I have a few minutes to spare and I wanted to just kind of put a video out there on YouTube that's not tarot related. I just wanted to do like a soul to soul talk. Um, and by the way, that's like a, a, a playlist that I put together. It's called, I think it's called soul, soul to soul talk. Um, where it's just videos of me rambling and talking about just random topics. So anyways, I wanted to talk about achieving your goals, like your dreams. And um, I guess I just want to say it's possible. <laughs> when you put your mind, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable because I'm, I'm like holding up the phone. When you put your mind to something that you really, really want and that you really desire, you will obtain that goal. And sometimes it takes a long time, right? Sometimes it takes a long ass time for us to really get serious and do what we need to do to obtain a certain goal. Um, and some of us don't always hit it, you know? And, and I'm one of those people, like, I reached a goal of paying off debt, okay? I reached a goal, and that was a big goal. Let me get my other pillow. I'm here on my bed, but there's like, I need to rest my arm or else my arm's going to get tired. <laughs> um, I reached the goal of paying off my debt, right? And I reached the goal of, well, husband and I reached the goal of buying our first house. That was like the biggest thing. That was two years in the making. <laughs> but a goal that is probably simple as fuck for other people, which is losing weight getting healthy, making healthy eating choices. That is hard for me. So I think that that's like the whole thing that's on my mind right now is because I'm seeing all these like, all of these posts about your New Year's resolutions, you know, and people going to the gym and people working out and <laughs> just trying to get healthy. And I'm at least just trying to get used to cooking in my new house, right? Because I wasn't able to to do that when I was living at my mom's house. She's like she's like literally the queen of her kitchen. And um I always felt uncomfortable cooking in her kitchen because she would like hover and want to make sure that everything was clean and I just never felt comfortable doing something that I don't feel comfortable doing anyway because I'm not a cook. <laughs> and trying to do that in a kitchen that is like fucking spotless, you know? So I would really pull away from cooking unless they weren't home or um, or it was like something I knew I could whip up real fast and I wouldn't make a mess. <clears throat> but any experiments and stuff, I wouldn't do. So I did that for two years. And of course, I put on weight in the two years that I was moving, that I lived back home. Um, and now that we're in our house, I don't want to go through like the whole, um, I guess, I guess what it is, is like when people first, when you first move out into a new place, whether it's your own place or your apartment or a house or whatever, or even if you like step into a new relationship, you go through that whole like phase of gaining weight together. Right. <laughs> I mean, at least that's like, that's been my experience. And I put on weight with my husband and, and, and this and that, but we put on weight or I put on weight the last two years due to lack of cooking and just making really poor eating choices. And so, and I'm very transparent with you guys. I mean, like, you know, I can't hide it. Obviously you could tell I'm a plus size girl and I'm totally, I embrace it. I'm comfortable with my body. I love my body. Um, but I love, I would love my body more if I was just a little bit more healthier. 
Um, altogether, my health is good though. I mean, I, I check in with a doctor and everything and everything's good. But um, <laughs> I would like to slim down just a little bit to be more comfortable for myself. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid of like going through the whole putting on more weight while we're living here at a house because it's like that whole new phase of like getting used to a new space, right? And, um, and I'm scared for that. I guess, it, I guess that's like the whole point I wanted to just come on here and talk because I find it that I get, I feel better when I talk, when I communicate, when I verbalize what I'm going, what's going through in my mind. So I've been really pushing on a new schedule for myself. I set my alarm for 7.30. I get up. If I, if it's a day I wash my hair, I'll shower, wash my hair. If it's not um, a day I wash my hair, I can spend an extra few minutes doing whatever I need to do. And then I have like a plan of like what we're making for dinner. And, you know, it's also to help for my fucking gro grocery list because that is another thing. I don't want to be like buying stuff that I know I'm not going to use or just spending money where I don't need to, you know, because we're, we're on a budget now. And so <laughs> I have like these meals planned out. And so today I had planned to make Spanish rice to go with like some chicken. And um, that would be like our dinner that we reheat because we both work, you know, I don't work full time, but I do work when I am working my day job. I work six hour shifts. <clears throat> so, you know, and I want to make sure my husband has something to eat too, because that's, that's what we got to do. Otherwise we're going to go reach for takeout and I don't want to do that. <laughs> so anyways, I'm trying to get myself into a schedule of cooking and getting comfortable in my kitchen with my own stuff, cooking my own way, my own recipes and everything with food and making healthier choices on top of that, you know? So that's my goal. And that's my new goal for 2019 is like, getting comfortable with cooking and going grocery shopping and, and doing all of that kind of stuff versus like worrying about money. I know I'm going to worry about money because we have a mortgage and all of that, right? But I don't want my 2019 to be consumed with money. That was last year. And frankly, 2017 as well. Like those last two years, we thought about nothing but money because money was like the main goal. But this year, I really want to focus on food, health, fitness, eventually get myself into some kind of fitness routine. <laughs> um, but just getting myself comfortable with being in my kitchen, my kitchen, doing it my way, you know, and not worrying about how my, my mom does it or how my mother-in-law does it. I want to get comfortable with me. So I guess like, I guess this talk is like a little bit about some fears that I have of, I don't want to gain weight. I have fears of being like a crappy wife of not knowing how to cook. And then also just talking about what are like what my goals for 2019 are and I really want my my year to be more so focused on health versus money because I feel like I'm so over the money thing um because that's all it was the last two years was money 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 in good ways, you know. It feels good to save money. It feels good to to pay off debt, it does, it feels amazing, but I don't wanna focus on money this year unless I'm receiving abundance. <laughs> so, I don't know, tell me you guys, leave me a comment below, cause I gotta get going, I'm gonna have to, I gotta head out right now, but leave me a comment below on this channel, on this, on this, on this video, um, tell me what are your goals for 2019? Like, are you gonna be focused on money? Are you focused on health? Or what area are you focused on? And then also, if you love to cook and you know some really easy, like easy meaning minimum ingredients, minimum cooking time, like I don't want to be like, I can't cook all day because I work, but like easy recipes that are healthy, but not like, not vegan because my husband's not vegan. I'm not vegan. Um, I would like to try, but my hub, my hubby likes meat, so I gotta like put something together for him. <laughs> but something healthy, you know. I don't want like like fried shit. I don't. I want. I really want to stay away from fried stuff. So like healthy recipes that are delicious and easy, because I 
really don't know anything about cooking. I do my, my very best, enough so that we're not starving and enough so that hopefully we won't be reaching for takeout so much, you know? So if you guys can share with me your recipes, I would love it. Um, if your recipe is too long to put in the comments or you would rather email me, I list my email in the description box, so just email me. And yeah, I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.